strategy what should be your plan of action designed to get you into a data science role my name is utsav and i'm a senior data scientist at oracle if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it because i keep posting good data science content and you are watching a series of videos for data science interview preparation so what should be your optimal strategy or plan of action to get into a data science job so if you are watching this video you are probably one of those two categories either you are a fresher who is looking to get into a data science role an entry level role right or you are an experienced professional who is probably in some other field and interested in data science and try to switch into data science job right so for both the categories the plan of action will be different for students you must not target a data scientist role right because a data scientist role is a senior role here you are looking for an entry level job so even if you begin with a data analyst role or some company give you a software developer role and they ask you or they tell you that you will be working as part of their data science team then it's good go grab that job because they are interviewing you on based on that but they cannot give you a data scientist role but they can give you an entry level work in data science so you can try targeting those jobs and for the professionals if you are above 2 or 3 years you can start applying for data science role but if you are below 3 or 2 years of experience then again analytics roles business analytics business intelligence all these roles are meant for you so tailor your resume such that they are, you are not targeting a data scientist role but you are targeting a specific role that is included in the data science because a data science is a very wide field it holds data engineers right big data engineers big data architects right you have hadoop you have spark or you have analytics you have all these different different things you have machine learning engineers you have deep learning engineers you have natural language processing engineer you have computer vision engineer so all these are different different things so just see what you are where you are interested more and just try targeting those those jobs because at that time you'll be more specific in what you are targeting and the chances of getting hired is more so the second part is networking if you have good network then chances of you getting hired becomes more the chances of you getting more interview calls is become more as compared to the ones who don't have good networks now how do you create good networks first thing is the linkedin get active on linkedin whatever you are doing if you are building a project if you are learning something if you have done some certification post it on linkedin it is it is not going to take you more than 5 or 10 minutes right just post it because you are sharing to the world you are letting recruiters know you are letting friends know connections know that you are working in this field you are interested in this field right in beginning you may not get much likes or much views as you may think but if you keep posting good content related to data science or what you are learning then people will care people will respect what you are learning and they will interact with you so if they are not interacting with you initially go interact with them because on their post create more interaction tell them that you are also doing something similar so this will create a group of a virtual group that will help you grow and good networks is an amazing thing guys and the third step is the connecting to the recruiters so guys you have to get connected to the recruiters now how will you get connected to them first of all through your friends or professionals who are already there in the industry right try them reach them and ask them that if they can connect you with the recruiter that the guy who has recruited them or anyone that they know in their team or in their domain who is recruiting and if you are active on linkedin you will see different recruiters posting for job on linkedin itself now what you have to do is try contacting them message them email them and wait for some time if they don't uh, like if they don't respond that is okay because because they are getting hundreds and thousands of emails right but if you follow up let's say you i sent an recruiter an email and a message on linkedin with my resume and explaining him about me and why i am good fit for this role right now let's say he doesn't get back to me or he didn't get the time to get back to me now what i can do is i can follow up so every day if you keep this in your practice right 
uh, let's say you try searching for two or three recruiters and be committed to this thing that you'll at least reach out to two to three recruiters each day or you'll go for you'll you'll ask for connections to apply your referrals then what will happen is uh, this will create a chain and a lot of people will come into the loop now what you have to do is you have to engage with them with follow-up emails now follow-up emails study says that follow-up emails have a very good conversion rate as compared to the first email or the first message the reason i think is that it really shows a recruiter that you are really interested in that job and you are not randomly throwing your emails or messages to almost any recruiter or any job opening and you're interested in that particular job so at that time he will get back to you so that's why i think it has a good conversion rate but these three points if you keep in mind i think this would be enough strategy for you to at least get interview calls now in the next video what we are going to do we are going to see how much coding data structures or algorithms you need to get into a data science job and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it because i keep posting data science content that will help you in your job in your career as well as your knowledge so with that take care